Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Athenium. And folks, I don't know what publisher Renegade Games is up to. They seem to want to corner the market on magical bookshelves that need restocking games. Because a few years ago, I covered another game from them. And, uh, uh, oh, MacGyver's, I think? Is that the designer's name? But uh, it was uh, Ex Libris, which was also a game about having empty bookshelves that you want to fill up to fulfill magical obligations and stuff like that. And uh, that game was a worker placement. This game is a card drafting game. They're both lovely. But I gotta say, of the two, I think Athenium really works for Jen and me a lot more. Uh, it's fast. Super fast. Very streamlined. This is a really light game, um, but not so light as to basically turn us off. There's enough here to think about and cogitate about all the different... As you have more and more books, and you spend in the second half of the game as much, if not more time, just using them to move them around to hit those targets, or occasionally trying to fill stuff out, all while keeping in mind that you don't score full shelves until the end of the game, but in the meantime, you can be getting the spider bonuses... And uh, never forget your own color bonuses. We're trying to get those things together. But new objectives are coming out every single round that could just change everything and make you want to about face and go for something different. And it's a blast. And also very, very much appreciated is this idea that, hey, I'm not only picking a card for myself, but also for the player to the left and to the right as well. Although in a two-player game, I'm picking this for myself and giving both of these to my opponent. I do admit... I think the game would be better at three than two because it would just be more interesting for me to say, oh, what did you give me? And what did you give me? I think that would just be a little bit more fun. We love card drafting. The card drafting here is very... It has all the normal staples of, okay, I really want to play this, but oh my gosh... I can't give you that if I'm paying attention to what you're doing. And, um, okay, I'll give you this because hopefully it'll come back to me before it's over because I really need that one too. And, uh, you know, plus the constant shifting of objectives. You, you've got to keep on your toes. And it's just super satisfying at the end of the game to have all these books just, you know, full up and, you know, score all your bonus points at the end of the game. It's, it's lovely. It's charming. It's interesting too. It's from a uh, French design team called... I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to say in English, the Atelier. Uh, Atelier. Um, although I'm sure that's entirely wrong. And they're known for, uh, what was it, One Key and Obscurio, which are kind of Mysterium-inspired games. So this is a very different beast for them. But it's a really good one. Jen and I have very, very much enjoyed it and, uh, you know, love the presentation. I mean, they did not have to go out of their way to make these cool little uh, bookshelf holders. Although, I'll be honest, because um, I like to put my books, uh, or my, my games, you know, standing upright, they'll all fall out of these because they don't have little lids. Uh, but for, if you put your... Uh, boxes, you know, lying flat on the shelf. These are lovely and delightful and make setup and cleanup just that much quicker. But I mean, it's just a simple, fast little game. Shuffle some decks, deal them out, and start stacking those shelves. Um, but again, for me, the fun comes when the second half went, okay, I've got most of my books, and now I'm just trying to rearrange. And I, I almost feel like I, I can imagine myself in this world with all the books, you know, you know, stacking up and all the dust kicking up, and I'm moving them around, trying to achieve these mystical uh, objectives I've got. It's great. It's fun. It just works. I would certainly see this as a gateway, or maybe a gateway plus game, but it's certainly one that you could teach to just about anybody. And if if you have people in your life that have any kind of organizational bent to them, this uh, the, you know th this game is like catnip. It just just speaks to you all about getting everything just so into the right place for immense satisfaction and very high fun factor. Athenium, the Mystic Library, and that's the final thoughts, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Uh, bye bye.